Hey, I'll be right back. I'm going to space. <laughs> hey, curious kids. Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we are talking about how long does it take to get to space. Well, it depends on what you mean by space and what is taking you there. The official start of space, that stuff back there, according to NASA, is at 100 kilometers or 62 miles high. This is called the Kármán line. So if this is the space we're going to and we took the space shuttle, it would take us two minutes and 30 seconds to reach space. But the space shuttle is retired. So let's look at a rocket that is flying. The SpaceX Falcon Heavy, it's Falcon 9, but the Falcon Heavy reaches the Kármán line in three minutes and 24 seconds. But what if we don't have a rocket? What if we just wanted to take our car and drive it straight up? We'll hop in, put the pedal to the metal and get going 65 miles per hour. It will just take you under an hour. 65 miles per hour, Space starts at 62 miles, so just under one hour of driving. However, that's not possible. It's not going to work because you're fighting Earth's gravity and cars can't fly. Yet. <laughs> All right, let's go to a different space. Most people want to know how long it takes to reach Earth orbit, or they want to go to the International Space Station, the ISS. The space shuttle only took eight and a half minutes to reach orbit. That's going from zero to about 28,000 kilometers per hour in just 510 seconds. Whoa. Now, the astronauts are experiencing a force three times that of gravity during launch. We call that three Gs. Now, what takes the most timing is actually going from orbit to the ISS, and that takes one to three days. But it is possible to make it super quick in just six hours by being extremely precise but the astronauts have to wear restrictive pressurized suits. So it's not done much. Lastly, it takes just over three days to reach the moon and six to nine months to reach Mars. So that's going to be a very long car ride. So make sure you bring snacks. Now on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of what was the first ever space station is B, salute. This week's question is, which planet currently has the most moons? Is it A, Earth, B, Mars, C, Jupiter, or D, Saturn? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.